Actually, we can. I can show you how time... I, 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 actually, I do understand enough about the fourth and fifth dimension as far as relevant science to know that you can. We're going to go back there. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a light-skinned black guy. You guys are dark-skinned, I'm guessing, right? You think people are going to tell a difference? You think they're going to give a shit? Let's go back to the 18th century and see how we get treated. All three of us. Do you want to go? I'm only going to the future. Okay, well, I just said 18th century. I just said 18th century. You want to go back to the 18th century? When they only viewed themselves as... The, when, when they only viewed themselves as the only humans, and now they actually see everybody else as human too? I'm going to stay now. Okay, there might be some social differences. There might be some social reforms. But the truth is, as far as their ancestors fucking knew, they were the only humans. That's why they were so ignorant towards us. Now they have relative science and information to debunk all of those assholes. And then the, the information in front of their face, I mean, what are they going to do? Lie to themselves? No. So I'll stay in my time. Yes, I know they do. I know they do, but it's not. But they're a small minority compared to 200 years ago. Holy shit. That's not true. I'm a member of these groups. We never eat our fucking own kids. I'm a member of these noble country, noble families. We are talking about a minority area of how white people and black people really act as a totality all over the world. Okay, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. You're only... You, bro, you're... You interrupted me just to say this. <laughs> okay, well... Well, uh, I, I'm i sorry that these things have happened to you guys, but you can't generalize your one life to the whole. F Can you tell me you haven't seen at least one white person that doesn't do it? Eighteenth century, they were all like that, other than a, other than a few. Wait, repeat that phone. Repeat that phone. Repeat that. Wait, what, what, what are you guys talking about? No, they don't. Until uh, unless they're a white guy in Africa living in Johannesburg, because then he's the minor he's he's the minority. Yeah, you're right. Ah! <laughs> you know what? That's the funniest part. You've clearly never been to Johannesburg to find out that all the white people and black people suffer equally. That's why they call it TIA. That's why the phrase they all have is TIA. Do you know what TIA means, guys? Do you know what TIA means? This is Africa. Have you seen Blood Diamond? Have you seen Blood Diamond? Have you seen the movie Blood Diamond? No, it's a movie, right? That's based on actual events. Based on that is probably the most that is probably the most uh, I guess you could say accurate documentary I've ever fucking seen. Even how the guy died.
Servant and slave is a relative term. They were all dragged there equally into the English crown. See, this is something... Now, no, no, actually, this is something that I actually know about my culture, that servant and slave is a relative term. That's why slavery was abolished in England so quickly, because the servants were slaves. We have had serfs in our fucking country as far back as the 8th century. Our people, uh, my family, is literally a serf of the crown until the 17th century in the Industrial Revolution. The swans were owned. Thank you very much if you think we couldn't be owned too. If you think only this shit happened there. No, no, no. We were dragged by our owners to these colonies. I am talking about America and I'm talking about how many of the white people that are actually there living among the poor that were actually the servants of the nobles during English colonialism, whoever owned the boat... And he ordered them to come here. No, 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 no. That is not indentured servitude. Indentured servitude is something only a free man can enter into. A serf is not a free man. No. Indentured servitude can only be entered into by a person of noble birth. He has to be born a free man. If you are a servant house, you are a slave. You are owned. Wait a minute. I could bring up the actual show Merlin, which is based on English history, where the fucking court physician, just for simply healing the king of a disease, you know what his reward was? Do you know what he was given as a reward, guys? He was made a free man. Holy fucking shit. You think these people had a choice. You think these people had any kind of a choice as to whether or not. You know, this is how they this is how they fed their families. This was how they fed their families. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't Canada. No, actually, actually, Canada is. No, actually, Canada is. Canada is because here they don't face demonization. They love it here. I don't know how many of them moved here because of the, you know what? I don't know how many of them current like currently moved to Canada because of the political state in there. I, I I think I know like four. Okay, who I've you know what? actually there's four Americans right now who who, I, who I've been doing business with just recently because of the fact that my flea market I buy from anyone. They moved to North Bay just recently. Do you know? Do you know why they moved up here? Because they couldn't find jobs as single white males. Everything else was affirmative action for one group or one for one one for another. Oh, yeah. So I had to help. Oh, wait. I, but, oh, so I didn't just speak the truth? I didn't just speak exactly what I'm going through? I'll invite my buddy Poseidon in. I'll invite my buddy Poseidon, who's an American right now. Oh, yeah, guys? I'll go, I'll, I'll go, I'll go and invite my buddy Poseidon in right now, who no less than three months ago. You know what? I'm going to tell you guys. No, I'm going to tell you guys something right now. They couldn't. They couldn't. They couldn't. Neither can my friend Poseidon, who's a fucking veteran. You know what, guys? My fucking, my friend Poseidon lives right now in the U.S. He cannot get a job. He's on veteran affairs because of his busted arm. Now, wait a minute. So he's got a busted fucking left arm. He's on veteran assistance. He went and was and asked for help from welfare because he's got two kids. He got off of his prideful ass, went and, these, these are white problems, I'm about to tell you white problems in the U.S. real quick. He went to fucking welfare when he actually needed it to turn around and get the money for his kids because he's a veteran with a broken fucking shoulder. And he was told, oh, you're a 32-year-old single white male. You'll be fine. Really? If he's fucking fine, why is he here asking for help? No, he won't. No, he won't, because I just had to pay his... You know what, guys? Really? He's going to be fine, because I just had to pay his internet bill for him last month. Really? You know the guy? You remember my friend, Big, that I had to pay the internet bill for so he could continue to contact his kids? This is who I'm talking about. So wait a minute. I had to help him. And you know what him and me laughed at a few days ago? That a black Canadian had to save his ass. Isn't that a little bit funny?
because of the situation he went through. Him and me were laughing at this, that everyone thinks the political situation is so one way. At least in this way, it was hilarious as fuck that it was a black Canadian that had to lend the white American money. Now, how the, how's that for fucking destroying the stereotypes like a motherfucker? Now, why did the black Canadian have to lend the white American money? Because he couldn't get welfare. Ah! So there's taking all those stare. The moment that happened, the moment a black guy had to lend a white guy money because he was so god. Now I make two thousand dollars a month in my country with my business. Actually, no, actually I make that. That's a slow month. I make about two thousand a week. I do very well. He doesn't. I have all these options stacked in front of me because people. You know what they? You know what they like about my face, guys? I bring diversity to their work group. How's that for fucking racism? You think I don't... You know what? I'll, I'll get hired just because I'm black. Not because I'm competent. Not because I have the skills. Just because I bring diversity to their workforce. I see it in my own fucking country. I see where... I see where every... No, you know what? Guys, the mom and pop shop... I watched a mom and pop shop down in my corner. When I moved to North Bay, it was open. Okay. Six years later, they closed. Do you want to know why they closed? Because they finally decided to retire because they were old. Now, every other business here, that place got returned into an apartment. All the other corner max, all owned by immigrant families. I value those kind of people. You want to know why? Because they come to my country and they actually make it better. The rest of my fucking people are sitting on their ass lazy as fuck expecting handouts. Well, these guys come from countries where they don't know a goddamn fucking thing other than working. And they work. And they work. I watch every one of us sit there acting like entitled fuckers while they work. We are the most entitled fucking people on the planet. I'd rather be a black man in America than a fucking white man in Africa. Go to Montreal. Just, just go to Montreal. Just go to Montreal. Just go to Montreal. That's the irony of that. Guys, I don't want to. I don't want to hear it. Like the fact that, guys, this is what I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear how how, how how all the problems from the U.S. are caused by one group when this one group goes through just as many problems as poor people. But they didn't feed their own to maintain their power base. They turned their own out. They fed you to feed their power base. But they turned him away while three black families, a Hispanic family, and also a Muslim family were waiting in line for their tickets. He was turned away while diversification was allowed. And that's the bomb I dropped. No, no, you know what? I would not say, I would not say that the majority of white people don't have it good, but the fact that you think every one of them does, that they don't have the same social problems as you, you just said that white problems in America are different from black. That is the most racist shit I've ever heard. No, I'm going to call it as it is. That was racist. To say that that a, that a fucking... No, you know what? I've been to America. I've lived in America. You think that white problems are different from black? You think there's a difference between one human who's poor and another? Holy shit. That is the best example of reverse racism I've ever heard of. That is the best example of reverse racism I could ever think of. There's no such thing as reverse racism. That's another racist comment. Saying there's no such thing as reverse racism is in itself racist. Saying there's no such thing as reverse racism is in fact racist. I could look this up right now. This is a known fact. This is a known fact. I'll type it up right now on Google. Is saying reverse racism saying, you know, watch. Holy shit, Obama. Holy shit, Obama! Okay, watch this. I'm gonna drop the mic real quick, okay? My name's Barack Obama, and I rule the fucking free world. Drop the mic. 
He's the most famous president. What do you mean? He's the most socially accepted president of American. You know, he's the most socially accepted president of American history. His face will be in history books for the next 300 years. You have no idea how much of a cultural impact that man had. That's just by people. That's just by, that's just by people that didn't. That's, that's ignorant motherfuckers. That's just ignorant motherfuckers. Oh, yo, oh, oh, so really? So what about everyone, so what about, so what about everyone thinking fucking uh, Trump's a cracker? Isn't that just as racist, then? Oh, that word's racist, yes. When you call a white person a cracker, it's a racial slur. Hope you realize that. When you call a white person a cracker, it's a racial slur. Because what did he do that was actually racist? What has he done that's actually racist? Bring something up. Show me a fucking fact that he's done. An act that he's done that's racist. No, 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 as president. As president. As president. As president. Okay, okay, okay. And then Obama, oh yeah, okay. No, there are, no, actually, there are two different fucking, no, 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 no. You're not looking through the fucking mirror because Obama took fucking millions of dollars away from veteran funds and put it into black mother funding. Wait a minute. So I'm going to put the shoe on the other side. Was that racist when he took millions of dollars from American veterans and decided to put it into single mothers? No, they ain't. No, they ain't. They got the... You know what? The only person... The only person who has this fucking image you're talking about is the single white female. That is the only person who does not have the problems everyone else has. In fact, the single white male has more. I'm an anthropologist. I have every right to say these things because everything I'm saying is professionally based on statistical values. I don't have to walk a mile in your shoes. I've lived in America for six years of my life as an American with an American citizenship. I'm an anthropologist. I'm also Native American. I got dual citizenship. Actually, I did. Yes, I did. You know, I didn't want to because I don't need hands out. No, no, no. I didn't because I don't want handouts. I want to be like everybody else. I don't like acting entitled to a goddamn thing. I didn't die for it. I didn't die for it. No, they didn't. They made a deal with my government for it. What do you mean, Treaty 9, 1812? 1812 was fought to protect my people. Wait a minute. The Canadian military fought 1812 against yours to protect Native American land. Oh, that's hilarious that the only reason 1812 started was because Americans invaded my ancestors' land. So the only thing my ancestors died at the hands of was a bunch of American colonial motherfuckers who thought they could pull manifest destiny on my people first. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point out this real quick. What, so I'm going to ask you a quick question. So I'm going to ask you a quick question real quick. You ever notice how manifest destiny happened right after 1812? You ever notice how manifest des you ever notice how manifest destiny happened right after 1812? You know want to know why manifest destiny went out west instead of going north because they didn't have white protectors and you guys picked them off. You went after a bunch of you went after you know you know what you did? You couldn't go no you couldn't go through the British so you went after the natives who had no white allies. That's the fucking hilarious part of that. That's what Manifest Destiny is. Oh, you ever heard of the Buffalo Soldier? You ever heard of the Buffalo Soldier? They were involved in Manifest Destiny. Thank you very much. Black Bounty Hunters, motherfucker. Black Bounty Hunters. Bounty Hunters. Bounty Hunters. The fucking reason scalping started. The fucking reason scalping started was because the Buffalo Soldiers... The only reason scalping started was because of the Buffalo Soldiers. That's hilarious. The only reason my ancestors scalped people is because of what the Buffalo Soldiers did to us, collecting our bounties. That's hilarious. Who made them do it? No one. They were bounty hunters. They were fucking bounty hunters. That's a fucking mercenary. Do you not know what that is, bro? That's a cell sword. It's a hired gun. Frickin' Pinkermans. Goddamn fucking Pinkermans. Mexican government. 
Who was paying? Who was paying the government? Who was paying the bounty? The Mexican government. The Mexican government. The Mexican government. Look it up. That's where scalping started. Yeah, you might want to look that one up. It's because of the Mexican government that scalping started. They were taking our fucking scalps because of what Santa Ana did. Yeah, you should look it up, Santa Ana. See, that's how much you don't even know your history. You don't even know your fucking history enough to know that it was because of the bounties of Santa Ana that scalping started against the Navajo and the Chiricahua. Oh, really? I can't look up that actual fact right now and realize that they were collecting bounties for the Spanish government? Oh, what? Oh, yeah, it is actually. I can look it up right now. How did watch this? How did scalping start? I'm gonna show you why my I'm gonna show you why my ancestors started scalping motherfuckers because you did it to us first. Payback's a bitch, isn't it? No, Buffalo soldiers did. Buffalo soldiers did. No one's orders. They were collecting bounties. No one was ordering them to do it. Who was paying the bounties? I'm looking it up right now because I'm pretty sure it was the scalping. I'm pretty sure. See, watch this. See, I just looked this up on Google and this is from history. Colonists learned to scalp enemies. Okay. From the natives to collect bounties that were being paid in part by the Mexican government. Who is paying the rest? San yeah, Santa Ana. Santa Ana. I just looked it up. Mexican government and Santa Ana. Do you know who that is, guys? The guy who attacked Texas. The whole reason is called the Alamo. Santa Ana is the man who attacked Texas in the Alamo. Ha! That motherfucker was also slaughtering my fucking people left, right, and center while the fucking country of Texas was trying to protect us. So what I actually know is the real truth is that when Texas was a country, it had a treaty with our people, and we actually lived peacefully with them. The Alamo was over them killing us. Wait a minute, the only reason the Texas government declared war on the fucking Mexican government was because of the mass killing of their allied natives. Wait a minute. Now I'm going to look this up real now, guys. I'm going to look up what started 1812 when Americans decide when Americans decided to come north into Niagara. And Niagara at the time, you know what it had as far as white settlers, guys? Five Dutch settlers. They were from Holland. You know what that means? They weren't British. But you know what was in the land? 365 British citizens under treaty. They're called Ojibwe. They're Native Americans. Yeah, and they had a protectorate with the British. No, I'm going to teach you something. I'm going to teach you something. None of it has anything to do with that because you seem to think that, you, you know, that's that's the point of all of this. You're not special, bro. I know people. I know I know cultures who have gone through worse. You know what? You know what? I'm going to look at history as an anthropologist and realize that we had it the easiest. We are the only culture on the fucking planet that were freed by our slavers and had social reform in under 100 years. This kind of fucking shit takes other countries thousands of years. So you know what I'm going to remember, guys? That this didn't happen until white people did it. We, they don't respect you because you blame them for all their problems. Maybe if you stop blaming them for every little fucking thing that went wrong in your life, they'd actually respect you. I get nothing but res oh, you know what? I get nothing but respect from white boys. I'll tell you something right now, bro. Most of my friends are white Americans. Most of my friends are white Americans. Do you know how I've gotten so much respect from them? Cause I don't do that. Bam. You know I've got. You know what? The majority of my friends are white Americans, and that's the thing they told me they have a problem with. So I'm gonna tell you what they say. You can accept it or not. You can accept their side or not. Because their side is just as legitimate as yours. And that's what's hilarious about this. I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to do any... I'm not trying to tell you fuck all. I'm defending my human being, my fellow human beings. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm not trying to tell you fuck all. Other, I'm just defending my fellow man. Defending my fellow man. No, I don't have to accept any of the things they've done because we did a lot worse. 
we did a lot worse to each other. They're probably the nicest of all histories. You know, that's the funniest part, is the one thing I know as an anthropologist is they're actually the nicest of all cultures. And you know what's the funniest part? You know what's the funniest part about this? Is that what I know as an anthropologist, they're actually the nicest of all cultures. Europeans. Europeans. Do you know how I know this for a fact? Because do you know how, do you know how I know this for a fact? Do you know how, do you know do you know, how, do you know how I know this for a fact, guys? Because if I went to all of my Europeans and white friends right now and told them that, hey, you know, like, isn't fucking, isn't it kind of weird how Africa causes all the fucking problems for the world? And every single one of them are just going to turn around and be like, nah, man, that's not true. I mean, fuck, a lot of our people have done that kind of crap, too. It's a pretty much a human problem equally. Okay, so that's the difference. That's why they're nicer. Because they can actually take credit for the things they've done wrong. You know what? Do you even know? Do you even know how white people... You know what, guys? White people... You know what, guys? You know what, guys? An albino slave is really fucking good in Africa. I'll tell you something right now. Maybe you should look up into how they even came into existence before you judge them. White people. Pale Caucasians born from African albinos. You know what's the hilarious part about that? A slave who's albino in Africa can't run very far from his master's shade. They were the first slaves. The first culture of slaves. How the fuck do you think an albino gene spread among a civilization? They were force breeding it. It's called eugenics. It was something they were fucking doing to make them a more pliable slave. It has everything to do with it, that you... Oh, wait, it has everything to do with it, because the only reason... You're saying that they're to blame for their... Wait a minute, but they're to blame for their ancestors' actions. They're to blame for their ancestors' actions, right? They're to blame for their ancestors' actions. But you're not to blame for the fact that it was your ancestors that taught them how to do it. That is fucking hilarious. That is fucking hilarious. That their ancestors, that they're to take blame for what their ancestors did. But you can't blame, you can't take blame for what their ancestors taught them. You can't take blame for what your ancestors did to them. That's fucking hilarious. They, you just literally said that they are supposed to literally accept what their ancestors did to your people. But you can't accept what yours did to them. African Africans taught pe Africans taught white people how to keep a slave. White people were taught slavery by Africa. Your ancestors are the only fucking reason my ancestors learned this shit. What did they do? What did they do? They t their ancestors taught them. Their ancestors taught them how to do it. That was their that's what they're to blame for. That's the that's what they're to blame for right there, bro. You hearing me? That's what they're to blame for. They're to blame they're at they're 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 at fault for what their ancestors did teaching it. Well you know what? Maybe if they never would have taught white people how to do it, it never would have happened. You know, this is the funniest part about it. Maybe if they would have you know, maybe if they maybe if these black slaves' ancestors never taught white people how to do it, it never would have happened. That's the funniest part about this, is maybe I don't give a shit. I don't give a flying fuck. At this point, I've heard so much racist shit come out of your mouth, I don't give a flying fuck. You guys have, you guys have went from blaming them for their ancestors' actions, but you can't take your own blame. Watch this. 